over 700. And I only know that number because as my sister says, I'm the president of the nerd herd. <laughs> <laughs> How about in the last 12 months? How the last 12 out? months were over 30. And I want to welcome everyone to another edition of Coffee with Tom and Joanne. I'm Tom Matthews. And I'm Joanne Toronto. Today, we just wanted to talk a little bit about our experience in transaction in transaction volume, because you know, a lot of brokers can say they sell millions and millions of dollars of homes, but how many transactions is that? It is in the nitty gritties, doing the negotiation and closing deals where you strengthen your skill set. 100%, because we're in a market like Concord where the median, median sales price is like 1.5 million. So you could do $10 million in volume, but you haven't done that many transactions. Right. And sometimes like that lack of transactional experience can really be a hamstring for people when they get into more tricky situations. And we want our buyers and our seller clients to know about our transactional experience. Because if you're thinking about hiring people right now, whether you're trying to sign a buyer's contract or a seller contract, you should be asking your agent, how many homes have you sold in your career? And furthermore, how many have you sold in the last 12 months? Why is the last 12 months so important, Joanne? The last 12 months is so important because being engaged and actively in the business is totally different than having a real estate license. Right. And I also think it's important because we don't kind of like walk down the street and tell our friends, hey, I had another closing today or hey, you know, and this is all about working with people who know, like, and trust us. And so it's an opportunity for us to say, you know, we do a lot of transactions and you continue to do a lot of transactions by staying active in the business and actively working with buyers and sellers. And so what we're trying to do as a team is not to sell every house in the market, but we sharpen our skill sets a little bit more on every single transaction. And that's important for you as the client, because you want to make sure that you're getting the best deal that's available at that given time. Yeah, and I think the last 12 months is critically important because markets constantly change. Always changing. A market changes on the daily. And so by showing that you're continuing to close a high level of deals, it shows that you're able to adapt to the changing market. And that's why, in my opinion, you should be asking your broker what have their career sales have been and what they've done in the last 12 months so that you can make sure, because there are so many people that I've been there, I've done that, but I'm kind of winding down now. Mm -hmm. And for you, the seller, or you, the buyer, that transaction at that time is most critical to you. And that's why we just want to share the importance of like what we've done for volume, and why you should be asking those questions when you're interviewing brokers. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Joanne Toronto. And I'm Tom Matthews. And if you like this content, please subscribe and watch more of our videos. Cheers. Cheers.